Hey guys, I'm Leviatros, and this is Game Pass Give It A Goes, the series where I try out the latest Game Pass releases for an hour and give you my first impressions. Today we're going to be taking a look at Open Roads, a new narrative-based adventure mystery thriller game developed by the Open Roads team and Fulbright, which also made Gone Home, so definitely a game that I'm interested in trying out and seeing how the story is. But how serendipitous is it that the Open Roads team happens to work on a game called Open Roads? <laughs> Wild. But let's go ahead and see if this is a road worth going down, or if you're better off taking a detour. So let's go ahead and jump into it. I'll go ahead and play the game with copyrighted music, and then if there's an issue, I'll just do a cover of the song that is going to be so bad no one will claim ownership of it, so we should be good either way. Hmm. Who are these people? Me, Mom, Grandma, Helen. Grandma's 80. Okay, let's go ahead and pack up. Mom wants me to pack up my room to get ready for the move next week. It's taken a while, but I'm pretty close. Just a few things left before I can cross off my to-do list. Yeah, don't want to leave this cup behind. Oh man, it's getting moldy. What am I doing with my life? Let's go ahead and put that back. Liquid Gold, A History of the Canadian-American Bootleg Trade and the Secret Fortunes Left Behind by Jed S. Baldwin. Why am I reading this? Do I have plans? Am I gonna... <laughs> illegally, or legally, illegally transport alcohol across state borders? Alright, let's go ahead and open it. Oh, this is a library book? I've checked out the last four times it's been out? Okay. I feel like it could just buy the book at that point. Alright, I don't know if we necessarily need to bring this with us. Happy belated birthday. Sorry for the lateness, Tessa Bear. Things get away from me here, but you'll, you're always on my mind. We'll call soon. Can't wait. Alright, let's go ahead. I mean, I guess we'll pack that up. And this jar of thumbtacks, yeah. Definitely don't want to be anywhere without that. I mean, if I'm moving, I don't know if I'm still in school, but if I get to a new school and I don't have thumbtacks to put on the teacher's seat, then I'm going to be the laughing stock of the whole school. All right, we're going to be busy for the next hour. <laughs> I do my impressions and go, yeah, it's a pretty good po uh, bubble wrap popping simulator. But, uh, you know, about five hours into it, and that's all I've found so far. So, web page design services and web publishing for a total of $250. Did I make this or did I pay for that? Oh, okay. Invoice date is 2003. I guess the game takes place in 2003. Good to know. Sincerely, Tess Devine. Devine Design. Okay, I guess I'm a web page designer then. What do you mean? 2003. I don't know if the dot-com bubble has happened yet, but hopefully we don't have to worry about that. Oh, our plane ticket. Can't forget hmm. that. Better leave these where mom won't see them. So it looks like we're going from Detroit to Oklahoma. Oh, okay. I'm going from Detroit to Reno. Good to know. I get in Reno, I go, huh, this isn't... Oklahoma looks different than I remember. All right, I guess we'll pack up our school newspaper and make sure we don't forget this issue. Eraser, yeah. I mean, if we go somewhere, move to a new place, write our name wrong, and then we don't have an eraser, we're gonna have to stick with that name the whole time. Andromeda Theater. I don't know how well that's... I feel like we're gonna have to pack that up pretty carefully since it's class, but we'll go ahead and press F and hopefully things turn out okay. Yeah, I can't forget our yearbook. Grimmy says, stay in school, kids. Don't turn out like me. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Grammy. I'm the first to sign your crack, Jason. Classic. Francine was here. Hey, bestie. Want to make sure you won't miss this message. How? Now anyone else who signs this will know I'm your bestie, not them. Let's have a great summer this summer. Movie night every night. Francine. Okay. Coming out a little strong, but heart's in the right place. Let's go ahead and pack this up. Yeah, let's rummage through our own trash see what we've been up to. Butter kisses, when only the best will do. I mean, hopefully this isn't the only kisses we've been getting. When a beloved grandparent begins to experience dementia, it can be really hard. I've learned a lot since my own grandmother started showing signs. I hope these tips can help you too. Alright, looks like we have a printout of some dementia tips for handling a grandparent that has dementia. I don't know what I threw it away. Am I upset about it? 
Am I throwing away because she sent me these instructions ten times already? I guess we'll find out. Oh, DVDs. Video Galaxy. Clueless. <laughs> okay. Let's go ahead and see what else we got. Clue. Okay. I I feel like we rented Clueless thinking that it was a sequel to Clue and we're severely disappointed. Hey Tess, we're doing a movie night at your place? Yes. Yes, we are. What movies are you bringing from work? It is comedy double feature night. I'll give you one clue as to which movies they are going to be. What is it? I already gave it to you. Tess, don't do this to me. You have your clue. Alright, can't forget that note. Okay, I'm glad we can't pack up our, D our rented DVDs. Let's rummage through our own drawers. Tessa and Fran. Let's go ahead and pack that up. Oh, right. oh no. I was supposed to feed you. Poor little guy. We killed our Tamagashi. I guess we'll pack up his long coffin with us. Take it to Reno. Hairbrush. Yeah, we can't be leaving our DNA behind with us. Let's go ahead and pack that up. Okay, power strip. Pack that up. Okay, looks like a photo strip of... I'm guessing me and my dad. At least that's what I'm hoping. Let's go ahead and flip that over. Me and dad. Laser tag champions. Okay. I mean... Seems pretty important, but then he forgot it, so kind of mixed on how well her relationship with our dad is. There's some search spots. Looks like we got most of them done, but I don't know what we're searching for exactly. Let's pack that up. The hunt for buried bootlegger treasure. Oh, okay. I guess that answers our question. Oh, okay. It's by Testavine, so we wrote this article ourselves. But I don't know why we're telling other people that there's treasure if we're trying to find it ourselves. But much of this money was stashed, hidden, buried stateside by bootleggers for safekeeping until the coast was clear to bring it home, and some of that illicit treasure must have been left behind when bootleggers were arrested by the authorities or killed in underworld dealings gone wrong. The locations of these abandoned caches of riches may be lost to time, but hints and clues remain. Okay, tabloid. Yeah, I can't leave that. I kind of feel like a lot of the stuff probably should have just been thrown away, but it seems like that's not an option. Oh, okay. Looks like our grandmother passed away. Oh, that's why we threw the article away. Okay. Okay, I can kind of see the Gone Home team behind this. The way that you reveal these little story pieces. Oh, and it happened 2003, so pretty recently. Which I guess makes sense if we threw away that article recently. But, yeah. Okay, don't want to leave this behind. Let's go ahead and pack that up. Chapstick. Pack that up. Nail polish. Going in the bag. Eraser. I feel like we have enough erasers, but we'll pack that up. We got an A in chemistry. That's good. Great improvement. Guess I wasn't doing so well before. And yeah, grades are pretty decent overall. A lot of A's. I uh, got a C plus in geometry. Hopefully things shape up in that class. And oh, okay. We got a textbook about making web pages, I'm guessing. I mean, unless I'm closing my business down, I think that makes sense to bring along with us. Oh, wait, is this a library book? Oh, no, I bought it used. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and pack that up. Uh, let's check our to-do list. And... Yeah, close enough. I think we've done as much as we can for the moment. My jacket? Oh, work shirt. Guess I'll have to pack this after my next shift. Okay, so I guess we'll put it back for now. Oh, this pen. Is that what we're forgetting? Yep. Can't leave this video galaxy pen. It's going to be worth a lot in a few decades. Okay, another birthday card. I feel like most people just throw them out, but Tess, she holds on to them. It's going to open it. May you enjoy all the blessings of her coming year. So proud of you, Grandma. Let's go ahead and pack that up. Is that everything then? Oh, I kept been listening to the radio this whole time. Let's go downstairs. Tess? Yeah? Come down to the basement. There's something I want to show you. That's not basement. ominous at all. What is it? Oh, it's nothing really. Remember, uh, this? Oh god. god, that was creepy. Let's be nice and say I love it. I mean, I don't know who made it, so let's be cautious and be a little kind up front. <laughs> I love it. Where did this masterpiece come from? <laughs> Your Aunt August made it when she was a kid. It's Lady, the dog we had when we were growing up. 
And Aunt August isn't a rich and famous artist now? <laughs> well, she is one of those things. Not a famous artist, though. <laughs> We've still got a little while before we actually move out, right? Like, a week? Yeah. Oh, then why am I packing about... up all my erasers? The estate sale was... weird. Having all those people in the house, picking through Grandma's stuff. I'm glad it's over. <sighs> yeah, me too. Are you okay? Mom. I just... <sighs> we took care of your grandmother right up to the end, and... And now they're selling the house out from under us. I know. Want to just... <sighs> take a minute and look around and see what's left? I haven't really gone through everything since the sale ended. Yeah, me neither. That sounds really nice. Just looking through what's still here. Aside from this hell picture. <laughs> Amazing that no one bought it, right? Just shocking. Uh, so you're all packed up, right? Good to go? Uh, oh my god. Uh, just I feel remember like that's that a it needs question. to be done by Wednesday so we can get everything out of here on time. I know. Most of Grandma Helen's stuff was sold off in the estate sale. I haven't really had a chance to look around and see what's left until now. Alright, let's see what we got. Well, we got this drawing. Oh, there's no option to pack that up, huh? I see how it is. Okay, another book. Maxims, Axioms, and More from the Sage of the Midwest. Let's go ahead and open it. No one gives advice like Millie. With her wit, wisdom, and ineffable tact, Jerry Millie has been charming readers for over 15 years. Found in newspapers nationwide, Millie dills out sage advice to over 5 million readers weekly. Gathered here for the first time are some of the most engaging responses from the Sage of the Midwest. On matters of home, parenting, and romance, there's never been a question that Millie can't handle. Let's go ahead and talk with Mom about this. Grandma's advice column was popular, wasn't it? Oh! For a little while, yeah. I didn't know that's the I grandmother. I felt really lucky that I got to ask her for advice face to face. I remember when we went to that one book signing when I was a little kid. You remember that? Yeah. I mean, people in the audience seemed so excited and nervous to get to ask her their questions right there in person. Sometimes when I'd ask Grandma for advice, she'd start off with, don't tell Millie, but... I think she saved her special advice for me. Well, she could have given some advice to herself and realized that taking out three mortgages on her house wasn't such a good idea. Ooh. Okay. Sounds like things are a little bitter with the grandmother. Even, at, even though she already passed. I mean, now I feel like a little spoiled getting to ask the sage of the Midwest herself for life advice. An ID. Okay, I guess this is her grandfather's. 1966. Employee identification card. Leonard Lambros. Property inspector. Alright, let's talk with Mom about this. Grandpa Leo was a... Property inspector. inspector for the county. What's that mean? He inspected things for the county. Oh, it's mostly great, property. Mom. Thanks. <laughs> Commercial buildings, mostly. When we were driving around town, he'd point out the ones he'd inspected. I remember he was very proud of inspecting the department store. You know, the big one on Old Main Street. Every foot of electrical, fire sprinklers, alarm system, everything. He'd say he was the only thing keeping half the buildings in town from burning down. Electrical fires are no joke. I mean, they're not. Oh, a mallet. Can't leave that behind. Oh, an article. Oh, dang. Okay. I was like, I guess it's an obituary. But 43 years old? Died in 1968 at Alexandria Regional Hospital. Surviving are his wife, Helen Lambros, and his daughters, Opal and August Lambros. Okay, so that's my mom is Opal, and then Aunt August. And so yeah, I'm not even born yet, which makes sense, because this is 1968. Let's go ahead and put that back. Oh, found a photo. Okay, I guess this is the whole family, minus us. Wow, was this... Was this taken right here? Cool. That's Grandpa? Mm-hmm. Probably only a year before he died. Of a heart attack? Yeah. 
Very sudden. But I guess that's how heart attacks are. Oh, box shutter. Yeah, you better watch out if any boxes get in our way. Ugh, Mom. Please quit already. Oh, another photo. I guess it's me and Dad again. Leanne's Creek. No dice. No treasure today. Oh, how did this end up down here? Huh. Must have been in a drawer of something that got sold. This is from one of the first digs Dad and I went on. Oh, it was kind of adorable how excited you both got about going on those digs. I remember being so sure that we would actually find bootlegger gold. Or at least a clue about it. <laughs> Your dad. <sighs> well, at the very least, he certainly had a way of firing up your imagination. I'll give him that. Oh, okay. Looks like we got our a whole pottery studio back here. All right, let's ask about this immaculate pot that we found back here. Is this... Some of the last pottery your grandmother made. Yep. After her fine motor skills started to go. Let's be positive, a little wholesome, and say it's still kind of beautiful. It's still kind of beautiful. I miss her a lot. Yeah, me too. Ah, oh, dang it. We can't go outside. I guess our mom doesn't trust us. Oh, huh. I'm taller than you were. Who's taller now? You are. But but I've still got time. Just wait. We're going to buy some platform boots and start running this home. Okay, not sure else what else we need to. Oh, wait. We haven't even been upstairs yet. I mean, gone home. That takes like the whole time. Oh, hey. It's August. Ugh, exhausted. The state sale was a lot. But... <laughs> that's easy for you to say. Yeah, I remember. And the answer is still no. I... Well... The what? Oh, right. Right. Sorry, it hasn't exactly been at the front of my mind. Yeah, it's around here, somewhere. No, it's fine. Okay. Love you. Bye. Unbelievable. What did she say? Nothing helpful. Is she still not gonna help us with the house? No. She was just calling to ask me to find some book of hers. Any idea where it could be? It must be upstairs somewhere, in your grandma's things. It has a red and black cover, white block lettering. I'll know it when I see it. Okay, okay. let's go. Back upstairs. And August called mom looking for some book that's important to her for some reason, apparently. It's probably somewhere upstairs. All right, let's go ahead and take a look. I feel like I'm pretty close to finishing the game. I mean, I've explored most of the house and, and gone home. That's basically the whole game. Hey, Ma! Actually, maybe I should just put this back. I mean, maybe I shouldn't read it in the first place. Sorry to hear that mom's doing worse. I've been thinking about her a lot lately. I know this is a sore spot, so it's the last time I'll bring it up. I really wish you'd let me help with mom's medical bills. I am the very model of a modern major general. La 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 da 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 mineral. Oh, I didn't know our mom was a play director. Oh, the Andromeda Theater that we have a mug of. It's all coming full circle now. <laughs> What's this? Oh, it's a hook pole thing to pull down the hatch to the attic. Could August book be up in the attic? With Grandma's things? Could be. All right. We can go up there, but... You go first. I found a weird hook pole thing. What the heck do you call these things anyway? Well, at any rate, I should be able to use this to pull down the steps to the attic. Feels a little odd to keep the attic opener and the bedroom wardrobe. I feel like you put that in the closet close to the attic itself. Oh, this is my bedroom. Oh, okay. I guess we moved in with the grandma. Oh, 
Somebody bought Grandma's old writing desk? And her typewriter. He said he was an advice columnist, too, and wanted to use them for his writing. He said your grandmother was a real inspiration. He left a very nice note. And a lot of money? Well, it was just an old desk. But it had sentimental value. For us, maybe. And for him, obviously. Can I see the note? Sure. Opal, your mother has always been an inspiration, not just to me, but to an entire generation of writers and readers. I can't tell you how much peace she's brought me over the years. To be able to write where she did, well, I hope a little of her magic crosses over to me. Yours, Ben Gerber. Oh, so he's trying to harness Grandma's magic. We gotta keep this desk now. Well, okay. I guess it's alright that he got it. <laughs> okay, turn around Glad pretty quickly. I feel the opposite. I flipped that now I'm like, we need to keep this desk. Keep the grandma's magic in the family. A farewell for Millie. Dear readers, it's been a delight and honor and a privilege to write to you over the years. Few people are lucky enough to say they love their job, and I'm grateful to be one of them. I've learned so much from all of you. Oops. <laughs> I didn't mean to put that away. I remember hiding in here with a flashlight to read my books when I was a little kid and we were visiting grandma. And a box of crayons, apparently. We'd I mean, come that's to gonna visit increase and the resale I'd hover value down in here for hours. If some kind of game in my head, I guess. I'd be hiding in here, and I'd hear grandma out there in her room, typing away or just reading in bed. I know she knew I was in there, but she'd always pretend not to know. And I'd pretend she had no idea I was hiding. I don't know why. I just liked the feeling of knowing she was out there. I have only slipped away into the next room. Somewhere very near, just around the corner. The poem you read at Grandma's funeral. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, I don't think I talked with Mom about this clip, this article. Wanna know something? Your grandmother didn't write this. I did. I guess that's what a question mark sounds like. Yeah, let's figure out why. I'm guessing the grandmother wasn't in the in the condition to write a goodbye letter. Why you? Hmm? Well, you're not like a, a writer. You're a director. Well, I don't know. I think I did okay. No, I, I mean, you did great, but, you know, I don't know. Were you surprised when they asked you to do it? Hmm. I, I think her editor, she just wanted it to be from someone who she was close to. I guess she was hoping for a family voice. I just tried to put myself in Millie's shoes. Well, you did a good job. <sighs> Thanks. All right. Well, we can't get in here, so that must be where the... This must be where the bootleggers are hiding the money. I guess for now, we'll go ahead, just have to do what we can, and go into the attic. I'm kind of curious if we'll ever get to see Fran, our best friend, or if he's an imaginary friend and we don't know that. Okay, come on up! <coughs> Damn, it's dusty. Now, where's that book? Wait, why does she have two issues of the same magazine? I guess the dementia was really bad. Ooh, creepy dolls. Okay, well, this is just creepy stuff. Why are these up here? You'd rather they were downstairs? Her Good point. point. <laughs> What's under here? Uh, here, let me grab that. I'll put it up here to look through. Hmm. <sighs> yeah, there's a bunch of old stuff in here. But, uh... Mom? Hold on, it might still be here somewhere. Hmm. There's something... There's uh, more creepy dolls behind there. Maybe if your dad had read this... He wouldn't have stopped working at the video store. Mom! What's in there? Okay, forget about August's book. We found a weird suitcase in a secret compartment in the attic. Did Grandma Helen hide it there? Why? The answers may lie within. Okay, more family photos. Okay, I guess it's the grandma writing her articles. Ah, oh, this is just some junk from the old summer house. 
you know, Your just some priceless had a family house? memories. Well, it was more of a cottage, I guess. We spent the summers up there for a long time. And you've never taken me to visit? Well, I haven't been there since I was your age. We just stopped going one summer. There's too many memories there. Oh my god. What? Aren't you seeing it? Seeing what? Right here. Behind them? That's a freshly covered hole. Uh-huh. It's obviously uh, the it's location the of the buried gold. bootlegger gold. In our backyard, you mean? Indubitably. Lady probably buried a bone there. Dogs don't really do that. Only cartoon dogs do that. Only cartoon dogs bury we are bones, cartoons. but real-life bootleggers bury gold in people's backyards? In 1968? It was a different time, Mother. Sure. Maybe this is where our grandma's magic is stored. Weird little rocks. Hmm. Ah, these little stones were from the stream near the summer house. You painted them? Me in August. The rocks from the stream were so smooth, but I forget why we painted them. <laughs> you were really that bored, huh? There weren't many TV channels back then. Mm, tragic. Another photo. Groovy van. <laughs> I did love that van. The engine died for good while we were visiting the summer home, and so I just turned it into my bedroom after that. <laughs> you slept in a broken down van? Well, the summer house was small, and I always had to share a bedroom with August. When I realized I could have my own space just by sleeping out in the van, it was a no-brainer. Yeah, Did your you, own like, space and privacy, redo it, to it be just like only a has inside? like five windows and yeah. 20 square feet. Your grandfather pulled the seats out for me and I set up a little bed frame with a mattress and all sorts of posters and pillows and shelves and things like that. <laughs> wow, that's actually cool. Could I do that? With our car? <laughs> we no. actually drive that car. Okay, let's see about these sunglasses. Grandma's sunglasses? Vintage. We started the game off packing up posters and erasers. I think we can go ahead and hold on to some sunglasses. Can I keep them? You think they're your style? Yeah. Sure. Just be careful with them. I'll guard them with my life. Dear Millie, recently a close personal friend of mine confided to me that she is having an affair on her husband. I love them both dearly, and I'm not sure if it's better to let the husband know or keep the wife secret. Dear Doubtful, Situations like these are painful for everyone involved. There's never an easy out. Keep in mind that this is her secret to keep and not yours. Keep your loyalties where they lie. Ooh, okay. I, I don't know if I agree with Grandma on that one. Okay, I feel like Grandma has her own secrets to hide. Whoa, there was a crime spree? Oh yeah, that was there too. Oh yeah. He had department stores and fancy clothing shops. Places kept getting robbed. The police couldn't figure out how the crooks were pulling it off. It went on for, well, I mean, it felt like months. So what happened? Did they get caught? Now that I don't remember. Okay, I found a postcard. We'll be together soon. I love you and we're going to love our new life together. Free and happy. Ellen Devine. <laughs> well, whoever this guy was, it sure seems like he and Grandma had something pretty intense going on. Was Grandma Helen... Okay, I feel like cheating on Grandpa is a little too strong. Although I kind of feel like that might be the situation. Let's go ahead and say it in some kind of secret relationship. In some kind of secret relationship? No! Not the Helen I knew. <gasps> Intrigue! Grandma, what were you up to? Oh, Grandma's... diary. Diary? Should we? Oh, I don't think... Probably not. We should but really... we probably oh, will anyway. Grandma wouldn't have cared. I'm dead. What difference does it make to me? I can hear her saying it now. Ellen Devine, 1968. Oh, another postcard. It is becoming a challenge keeping my correspondence with... X concealed. It's only a matter of time to work together again in person, but to hold it all inside, not tell a soul, it's almost too much. But he knows and I know. Soon enough, the waiting will be over, and this will all be in the rear view. 
Postcard, Libertyville, 1969. This space for writing messages. Forget about the past. Leo's dead. All that matters now is our future together. Okay, De something definitely is going on here. Oh, wow. What is this? So, Grandma and this guy were definitely together before Grandpa died? And they were gonna run away together? You never heard about this? No, this is... A and what is this key to? Why is it hidden in here? Something at the summer home, I assume. I've... Okay, well, now we've got to go check the old place out. Okay, I'm kind of more interested in going to find out if there's actually bootlegger gold there, but I feel like to get the mom on board, we're going to have to mention the mystery man. To find out who this mystery we man was. We have to know was. who our audience is. Don't you want to know? I don't know, Tess. I we still have so much to do around here. Come on. It'll be fun. An adventure. I still need to call Tina at the theater and finish cleaning up the fridge. Come on. We never get to do stuff together. You spend all your time at the theater, and I spend all my time in school. When when was the last time we were able to do something? To talk? Well... You do want to know, don't you? I can see it, Mom. I can see it in your face. Yeah, I guess wanting to spend time with her daughter couldn't have been an option. You know, a little change of scenery would be nice. Ha, that's the spirit. We could spare a weekend before we have to move for a little road trip, right? To tie up some loose ends. Right. And some of those little towns along the way are great for antiquing. Yeah, sure. All right, it's a deal. Let's hit the road and see what we find. I could really use a break from all this, even if it's just for a weekend. Pack your overnight bag. Yes! And bring your homework. I don't need you falling behind at school. What about August's book? We can FedEx it to her when we get back. Okay. I mean, I feel like it wouldn't take long a to send trip. it now. This is gonna be great. Okay, we're already on the road. We're on the road to the secret summer home to find out what's the deal with Grandma Helen's mystery man. Who knows what you might find. It'll be a while before we get there, though. Okay, driving with our 2D mom. Oh, I can lock the door. This is why I just roll out Ladybird style. Let's see what's in the glove compartment. Cell phone. Text dad. Telling her dad, maybe that's something the mom should tell him, but let's go ahead and talk with our best friend, Francine. Hey, Frankie. Guess where I am? In the car. <laughs> where? In the car with my own. Okay, wow, that I thought it was going to be a bit more informative than that. Yeah, and? Why would you text me about that? Because we are on a road trip. Uh, was this planned or... Not till this morning, lol. Where are you going? We found this weird stuff in my grandma's attic, and now we're going to my family's old summer house. You have a summer house now? I know, my mom never told me about it before. No one's been there for like 30 years. I'm hoping it's either cool or haunted. Why not both? You know what? You're right. I'll text you tonight if we find anything cool. Or haunted. Did you tell your mom about the plane ticket? Nope. Tess. Whoops. You have to. Okay, have safe trip, nerd. All right, I'm guessing Francine is real, or we're just sitting in the passenger seat with two cell phones texting it ourselves. Oh, my sunglasses. They made it. Oh, right, back when you had to print out the directions instead of just using your phone. Total estimated time, one hour, 58 minutes. So it's not too long of a trip, but you know, still considerable. Can I open the door? <laughs> I guess there's child locked. What are you doing back there? Are you gonna do your homework? No. Reading in the car makes me car sick. Then what are you messing with back there? I don't know. So stop <laughs> it. It's not safe. I guess let's talk about what's outside. What highway are we on anyway? 
Oh, this is the old two-lane north route from before there was a freeway. <laughs> it used to be the main route north, but now it's pretty off the beaten path. It's the way we always took to get up to the summer place when I was growing up, though. So I wanted to take it again. We'll be nice and say it's nice out it's here. It's nice out here. Peaceful. Mm-hmm. Used to be a lot more cars on the road, and little shops and towns along the way. But with all the traffic going up the freeway now, everything kind of died off. Oh, let's see if we can listen to some tunes. Is it okay if I turn on the radio? I don't know how much signal we'll get, but... The mom's like, yeah, sure. no, you're gonna get a copyright strike. Do you realize? Okay, not bad. Thank you. Ooh, static. That'll be a nice copyright free tune. Oh, the radio station went away. Yeah, we're pretty far out here. Maybe I'll see if I can find anything else. Let's go and actually talk with our moms. When did you say the last time you were at this summer house was? Oh, when I was, I guess, 15? Your age? I'm 16. I meant about your age. <laughs> All right, well, we'll see what we can get away with and say so a super long time ago. So... A super long time ago. Wow. No one's been there since, like, the 19th century. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh -huh. What was the Industrial Revolution like? <laughs> Tess, I wouldn't hmm. know. Did you ever meet Galileo? <laughs> Jesus, how old do you think I am? I mean, I'm just estimating. It, it's a rough estimate. It's a rough estimate. <laughs> I'll say. It was the 60s, I think, summer of 68. Grandma kept calling it the summer of 68. So, like, 35 years ago? And you say you're bad at math. What was it like? The summer house? And the dark ages, but yeah, the summer house. <laughs> I just always really liked it there. It was an escape. From what? Everything. I guess. School, town, same old. Every day just felt like it was ours when we were there. Alright, let's not make this about ourselves. Let's go ahead and ask why she stopped going. So why did you stop going? Oh, um, yeah, we stopped going as a family when I was your age, and then I went off to college, and then married your father. Did Dad even know about this place? I can't imagine Dad passing up a free summer home where he could just hang out and do nothing all day. So you're saying your father is lazy? I mean, he seems like a pretty chill guy from what I've seen in the photo, so let's go ahead and say he's a man of leisure. Because, I mean, he forgot it my birthday. He's a man of leisure. Is that what that phrase means? What else would it mean? He likes relaxing. He sure does. It's probably why I never mentioned it to him. Or me. Because I knew he would never have put in the work to actually fix it up so we could use it. It needed a lot of work? Well, not last I saw it, but being unoccupied for decades out there in the middle of nowhere? It's gotta be falling apart. You know, we'll be optimistic and say it could still be in good shape. It could still be in good shape. Maybe somebody's been, you know, keeping it up. You hope squatters have been living in it? Yeah, I was about to no, say. I don't know who like, just goes, oh, I'm going to maintain this you know, nice summer like, home for a family that shoe elves. they're probably struggling. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it'd, it'd be nice if it were magically still in good shape, considering we need a new place to live. To live in? Tess, I, I'm sorry. It's You couldn't live there. And not, not year-round. Why not? Well, it doesn't have central heat, or even really insulation. It's a summer home, not a winter home. Yeah, I feel like fine, then where are we going to live is a little too combative. Let's go ahead and say, better than not having a home at all, isn't it? Well, it's better than not having a home at all, isn't it? Okay, you know, we're not going to be homeless. 
but were getting kicked out of Grandma Helen's house. Oh, we don't that's have anywhere where the third else to live. Conversation we'll find from. a place. What kind of place? Yeah, we'll I don't just know live yet. in that van again. We're gonna be living in this car, aren't we? No. Just like when you lived in that van. We'll be living in that van. Oh, dang! She read my mind. How are you even going to pay for an apartment? The theater company, uh, you know. I thought you said it was underwater. Well, you know, it's not doing great. Fish but don't like Mom. plays. What? Okay, I feel like just saying we need money is kind of just adding fuel to the fire without really having a solution. I feel like it's tough to say, but I think it's probably better to have the conversation sooner th rather than later about when we're going to give up on the theater. When are you going to give up on the theater? Give up on it? I'm responsible for keeping it running. <laughs> for our performers and our audience and all those kids they bring to the theater on field trips. But... I think they'll manage. How are we going to have money? Things will pick up. Ever since 9-11. Oh my god, Mom. This theory. Theater going has plummeted. Yeah, on Broadway. You think people are staying in because they're afraid of terrorism in Greenville? It's a national trend. You sound ridiculous. Well, maybe I am ridiculous. Yeah, maybe you are. <sighs> yeah. It was easier when your dad was still around. At least we had more than just my income to work with. And then he goes and runs off. Well, have you asked dad if he could send back some money to help? Absolutely not. <laughs> he, he doesn't have the money. But dad moved out west for work. <laughs> well, don't laugh at me. I'm not, I'm not. It's just work. Sure. Hmm. It, it wasn't for work? All right, we're unraveling then a lot more then? family secrets than I was anticipating. I think I deserve to know. If he hasn't told you his side of the story, I'm not going to step in and take that responsibility for him, like I always did. Your father left me in a hell of a situation. We made all these decisions together. Do you not understand that? We made decisions that depended on us both, you know, sticking around. I didn't plan for any of this. You idealize your father, you know that? And I just don't really want to talk about it right now. Fine. Let's never talk about it. Let's never talk about anything important. All right. I, it's been an hour. I think that's probably a good time to call it. So, yeah, let's go to the initial impressions. So after playing the game for an hour, I think I really like Gone Home in that way that the story is kind of told through you just searching the house, piecing things together. I really enjoyed that experience. And since then, I haven't really felt like there was a game that really recreated that feeling of playing Gone Home for the first time. In this game, with it being the same people that behind that game, I, I don't feel like this is necessarily as strong as Gone Home. But I do like those opportunities where you just kind of like search around the house, find little notes, and then it weave together the story and piece it together yourself. And so I think the highlight of the game so far has been finding that note, that printout about the article of dealing with a grandmother with dementia, and then opening that drawer and finding the funeral for your grandmother. I felt like that was a really good moment. I felt like that felt a lot more natural than it just pinning you on a rail and then taking you through that. So I really enjoyed that, and I'm hoping that there's more experiences like that moving forward. I think the story in this game, it's okay. It's not something that like really is like super engaging or something that I would have asked for. But I feel like it has potential. I kind of feel like there's not going to be a lot of big changes or reveals. Like I feel like we're going to learn about the family a bit more, but I kind of feel like it's a bit limited to have it like really change the future trajectory of our family. But, you know, I guess we'll see. So far, I feel like this game does have potential. And if you saw the premise of the game, the art style of it, kind of the story and the way that's revealed, then I think if that appeals to you, I think this is a game that's definitely worth checking out in that case. If it didn't really appeal to you, I don't feel like this is well executed enough across the board to really change your mind on that. And one thing that feels a little weird, I do like that the character models are like 2D and then it's this 3D environment and like that contrast with it. I think that is like interesting. I feel like the animations are kind of this middle ground where it's kind of like 
if they did less to where it's just static, then I feel like it'd have fewer issues. But it's not animated enough that there's no lip syncing, or not consistently, which is kind of okay with me. But it feels more noticeable than if it was just static and was a standard visual novel where you have like a, a picture of them as they talk. And so I feel like that, I it feels tough because it's kind of like, it feels like they would have been safer if they did less, which is something that I typically don't want to criticize or advocate for. But I feel like it is something that kind of feels a little off. But, you know, I don't think that really detracts from the game overall. It's not something that, like, breaks it. But, you know, I think that is something that feels a little disjointed. And so I think the story does have potential, but I feel like this is a game that you're in walking around environments, interacting with things, and it's not super streamlined, which I think is kind of part of its strength, is that you piece it together yourself and you find out, you can find out the mystery in a different order, and it can have a different experience than just if it was like, hey, do this, now go to this point, now go to this point, don't you get it now? And so I feel like that is something that I'm glad that they did it that way, but at the same time, it does take a bit more patience and a bit more commitment to really get the most out of it. Because if you're looking for something fast-paced, this definitely isn't going to be it. But I think if you are willing to put the time in, and this is something that appeals to you, I think it's worth checking out. So I'm definitely planning to play this game a bit more moving forward. And if I have any big thoughts or anything like that, maybe I'll make another video about it. By the way, based on my first hour, this is my thoughts on it. So hopefully you found this video helpful. Now this is the initial impressions after playing the game for an hour and having that edited to the highlights. But I'm planning to make another video that's straight up just my first impressions and is a little more refined and has more editing than just me talking to the camera. But hopefully you enjoyed this video either way. If you did, feel free to subscribe to follow along with any more content I make in the future or leave a comment. But either way, thanks for watching. I truly appreciate it. I'll see you guys next time.